Mathematics Form 3 Solid Geometry Volumes of Right Pyramids and Right Circular Cones Hello! In our previous lesson, we have seen and discussed how solid geometrical shapes are used as basic units in building construction and in designing bottles, containers and packages. Today, we will learn how to calculate the volume of right pyramids and right circular cones. Look at the pyramids and cones. In both A and B, the vertex is vertically above the center of the base. Thus, A is called right pyramid and B is called right cone. Is C a right pyramid? and D, a right circular cone. Discuss it with your friends and explain your answer. Deriving the formula for the volume of pyramids and cones. Pyramid A pyramid is a solid with a base in the shape of a polygon. The lateral faces are triangles that meet at one common vertex. Right Pyramid For a right pyramid, the distance of the vertex from the center of its base is its height. The lateral faces are triangles and its base is a polygon. Right Circular Cone for a right circular cone, the distance of the vertex from the center of its base is its height. The diagram shows a right circular cone. Calculate the volume of a pyramid. To calculate the volume of a pyramid, we can use the formula volume equals 1 over 3 times base area times height V equals 1 over 3 AH Example 1 Calculate the volume of a right pyramid with a base area of 25 meters and a height of 3 meters Solution Given A equals to 25 square meters and H equals to 3 meters. V equals to 1 over 3 AH equals to 1 over 3 times 25 times 3 equals to 25 cubic meters. The volume of a pyramid is V equals to 1 over 3 AH. By making H the subject of the formula, we get H equals to 3V over A. Thus, the height of a pyramid can be calculated if V and A are given. Example 2. A right pyramid has a rectangular base with a length of 4 cm and a breadth of 2 cm. Calculate its height if its volume is 40 cubic centimeters. Solution Given V equals to 40 cubic centimeters, A equals to 4 cm times 2 cm 
equals to 8 square centimeters. H equals to 3V over A equals to 3 times 40 over 8 equals to 15 centimeters. Calculate the base area of a pyramid. The volume of a pyramid is V equals to 1 over 3 AH. By making A the subject of the formula, we get A equals to 3 V over H. Thus, the base area of a pyramid can be calculated if V and H are given. Example 3 A regular octagonal pyramid is 2.5 meters high and has a volume of 29 cubic meters. Calculate its base. Solution Given V equals to 29 cubic meters and H equals to 2.5 meters. A equals to 3V over H equals to 3 times 29 over 2.5 equals to 34.8 square meters. The base area of the pyramid is 34.8 square meters. If R is the radius of the base of a cone and H is its height, then the volume of the cone is given as V equals 1 over 3 times base area times height. V equals to 1 over 3 pi r squared h. Example 4. A cone has a base diameter of 7 meters and a height of 15 meters. Calculate the volume of the cone. Take pi equals to 22 over 7. Solution Given R equals to 7 divided by 2 equals to 3.5 meters. H equals to 15 meters. V equals to 1 over 3 pi R squared H equals to 22 times 3.5 squared times 15 over 3 times 7 equals to 192.5 cubic meters. Thus, the volume of the cone is 192.5 cubic meters. Calculate the height of a cone. The volume of a cone is V equals 1 over 3 pi r squared h. By making h the subject of the formula, we get h equals 3v over pi r squared. Thus, the height of a cone can be calculated if v and r are given. Example 5. Calculate the height of a right circular cone that has a volume of 300 cubic meters and a base area of 154 square meters. Give your answer to two decimal places. Solution Given that V equals to 300 cubic meters and base area equals to 154 square meters, H equals to 3V over pi r squared equals to 3 times 300 over 154 equals to 5.84 meters. Calculate the radius of the base of a cone. The volume of a cone is V equals to 1 over 3 pi r squared h. By making r the subject of the formula, we get r equals to the square root of 3v divided by pi h. Thus, 
the radius of the base of a cone can be calculated if V and H are given. Example 6. Calculate the radius of the base of the cone that has a volume of 264 cubic centimeters and a height of 7 centimeters. Take pi equals to 22 over 7. Solution. Given that V equals to 264 cubic centimeters and H equals to 7 centimeters, R equals to the square root of 3V divided by pi H equals to the square root of 3 times 264 times 7 over 7 times 22 equals to 6 centimeters. Example 7 Abu is an ice cream hawker. He sells 80 cone-shaped ice creams every day. If the height of the cone is 15 centimeters and the total volume of 80 ice creams is 12,000 cubic centimeters, calculate the radius of the base of the cone. Take pi equals to 3.142. Solution Stage 1 Understanding the problem Given V equals to 12,000 divided by 80 equals to 150 cubic meters H equals to 15 centimeters Find the radius of the base of the cone Stage 2 Devising a strategy First Find the volume of one ice cream. Then, calculate the volume using the formula. Stage 3. Carrying out the strategy. Volume of each ice cream equals to 12,000 divided by 80 equals to 150 cubic meters. R equals to the square root of 3V divided by pi H R equals to the square root of 3 times 150 over 3.142 times 15 equals to 3.09 centimeters. Stage 4. Check the answer. V equals to 1 over 3 pi r squared h equals to 3.142 times 3.09 squared times 15 over 3 equals to 150 cubic meters. Volume for 80 ice creams equals to 150 times 80 equals to 12,000 cubic centimeters. That's all for today. Hope you understand the lesson and will be able to solve problems involving pyramids and cones. Goodbye.